What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Piper Elizabeth and this right here is my channel. I didn't use my hands the whole time and that felt really weird. I never like my intros anyways. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Piper Elizabeth. Everything is black owned here on my channel. So if that's something you're into or you want to support, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every Tuesday at 2 when I upload a brand new video. And today's black owned brand is Shea Moisture. We all know Shea Moisture for their hair care, but they also have skincare. And I have three products here. I have one more thing. This oil. And I got their um, cannabis sativa hemp seed oil kind of line. Um, so I'm really excited to try it. I have a cleanser. I have a toner. And then I have a rescue face oil. So if you want to see how these work on my very sensitive skin, go ahead and keep watching. Ain't no way, this thing that says it's established in 1912. Really? You were established in 1912? If you see this, it's just my mirror. Ignore her. Okay, like I said in the intro today, I'm doing the Shea Moisture, which is black owned. And I don't know why I didn't think it was black owned. But it is, and I went and picked this up at my local Target like literally not even an hour ago. I have like a little bowl of water here, and when I say little, I mean like, if you haven't watched my other Butta um, skincare video, I said in that that I have really sensitive skin. I've actually used the Shea Moisture um, makeup wipes, and they're too harsh for my skin. Uh, I just, my skin doesn't like them. I don't know, I tried to talk to her, but she's just really dramatic, so she doesn't like a lot of people. I'm hoping that she likes Shea Moisture, Mr. Shea. I normally use the Mario Basu, but I want to replace it with a black bone brain. I'm gonna use this all with my normal everyday skincare because I feel like you have to use products in the way that you would normally use them for an actual like true gauge as to whether they'll work for you or not. I feel like that's common sense, but some people, maybe not. I feel like whenever I do a review, I like hold the thing in my hand and talk with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this is for next week's video. Oh, honey, literally. Um, it's Honey Hydrate. This is literally for your hair. I'm gonna show you guys this next week. But it's like actual honey. So I'm, I'm really intrigued. Um, so I'm trying to remember the prices for all of these. One of these two was 11 or 10.99, and then the other two were 9.99. So I got the whole thing for like $30. There was a moisturizer in the line, so they had a cleanser, a toner, a face oil, and then a moisturizer. But I wanted to use my butter because I've been really loving my butter. Um, so I didn't get that one. But that one was also like 9.99, 10.99. Again, I got this at Target while I open this. This is the this is the Shea Moisture Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil and Witch Hazel with Vitamin C Skin Rescue Cream Cleanser. All of these say skin rescue, so I don't know if that's the line or the cannabis sativa is the line. So this though it does not contain CBD oil or THC. It's fragrance free, which god bless because i think that's what like freaks my skin out how to use apply a dime size amount to a damp to damp skin rinse well follow up with the skin rescue moisturizer hmm well i didn't get that but that's okay because we have a butter so i'm gonna wet my face i don't think i fully 
thought this through. Yeah, wow, I did not think this through at all. Oh, that came out a lot faster than I thought. So I taking about that much, which is definitely a lot more than it. This feels like lotion. I think I just stuck that away. <laughs> she really does feel like lotion though. But I mean like, I think I just put a lot of products on there so far. No pain. No burning. And I really don't, the smell, like I don't really smell anything, but you kind of get a little bit, like it definitely has some kind of scent but yeah i definitely think i put too much on because now that i put more water on it, it feels pretty good it's smooth yes i wash my eyebrows because i'd be getting pimples in there don't play me i really like this feeling i'm gonna see if i can wash my face off in this if not we're just gonna have to i'm gonna have to pop it and pop right back mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't dry my face off. I don't know if you can tell it's like soaking wet, and I definitely got it in my hair, which is you know fine. Um, I actually use paper towels, or I will use um a clean towel to blot my face dry. I do that because oh, there's makeup on that. I do that because I feel like it. If you use a dirty towel and you just washed your face, then it's not clean. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's counterintuitive to wash your face and then use a towel you've been using to clean your face because yeah, you just washed your face, but like I just wiped off makeup. Okay, my skin definitely feels clean and washed. It definitely feels dry, but I feel like whenever you wash at least when I wash my face, I don't want to put words in other people's mouth, but whenever I wash my face, my skin is always like super dry. I have weird combo skin, so whenever I wash my face, it's super dry, and if I put lotion on it, then I have oily skin, which is duh, because you just put lotion on it, but my skin won't get oily. Like, if I don't put anything on my face, my skin will be so dry. That makes logical sense, but... <laughs> I really thought I did something there. I I tried myself, honestly. I don't I don't know what I was thinking, but I tried myself. So um, my apologies. We're just gonna keep trucking along. The next product I have is a skin rescue toner. I think the packaging is really cute. I like the yellow because I have the oil and the toner, and I was like, I don't. It doesn't say which one goes first, does it? Let me check before I try myself again. So it says, mist onto face and neck before applying moisturizer. We apply throughout the day for an instant skin wake up. Okay, so we're gonna put, I normally would put this on, let it dry, put the oil on, and then put my butter on, and then I will put my sunscreen on. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. My skin is getting really dry, so I'm gonna pop that on because I can feel it. Okay. I'm really scared. I shouldn't have inhaled. I feel like I'm trying to get a scent. The mister's like A1 though. Like it's such a light, nice mist. I'm here for it. I really douse my face in toners. Ooh, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a stinging but that's not unusual for me, so I'm just putting that out there. It's stinging under my eyes, but sometimes I get that after I wipe my makeup off because makeup wipes, I've tried so many and they're really harsh on my skin. And so I've been wiping my under eyes are really sensitive. So that doesn't really bug me. It doesn't really sting on the outside, but it's really just around my eyes. But it dried really quickly, actually. It feels nice, it feels refreshed. I probably will use it even though I feel like my eyes are stinging right now, like around my eyes, not my actual eye holes. So I'm not 
I'm not document too many points for that because my skin really is so sensitive. It is kind of getting like sticky. I feel like it's toning. It's like getting kind of like, not like tight, but not like uncomfortably tight. It is weird around my eyes though. Like I can feel it tightening on my eyelids, which is really weird. But everywhere else, it, does, it feels good. I'm not complaining. It's like sticky though, so I definitely would put something over this. Now, I'm gonna move on to the Skin Rescue Face Oil. So I'm gonna take, uh, I'm dripping about five-ish, maybe a little bit more drops onto my fingertips. Oh, it definitely feels really good. It's super like oily, so I couldn't even show you guys because it was dripping off. But I just kind of pat in that into my skin. And it's really thin. I thought it was gonna be thick. A lot of the oils that I've used have been really thick and you can like feel it, but this is really thin. It took some of the stickiness away, but it's actually taking away a lot of the stinging that I was getting from the toner. It, like in the camera, I feel like because of my lights, it looks super oily, but in person, like you look like a healthy dew. It, I can't, cause you can see this like shine right here, but in person it's, I feel like it's not as oily looking. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Okay. Time for my butter. I drop everything, something, every video. Um, I still have a lot of butter left. Like I don't, this, this is gonna last. How it reacts with the butter and the black girl sunscreen. Oh, ooh. I don't know if I just like warmed up the butter more, but I feel like it's gliding over my skin a lot better than it normally does. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> wow, that feels so good. Wow. That's like gliding. It's really gliding. I don't know, it's just, it feels really good, it does. It feels really soft, the, the butter glided on like smoother than it's ever glided on. I don't know if I warmed it up more than I normally do, or the oil, I feel like it's the oil. That really helped that glide on my face. I like that combo. I like that combo. Okay, for some people this might be a lot on your face, but for me, I like to look like a glazed donut. And this is my Black Girl sunscreen, so this is just like my everyday skincare routine. I feel like everything's going on so much better than it normally does. Wow. Okay, I'm digging it. I really feel like it's the oil more than anything. I feel like it was the oil. Honestly, you guys might not see it, but I feel like I look less oily. Like, I, I don't know what that did. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> we might have just did something. We really, we really might have just... I have to do something. Okay. Wow. I'm shook. Because it's just like, it's just laying on my skin so much better than it literally ever has. Like, I like butter, but like, that did something to it. Okay, I'm back. I literally just got done filming, but I'm so, I'm so hyped about this, guys. I don't know what they did. Whatever they put in this. Like, I want to drink it. I want my soul to feel like this. If I only had $5 left in my account, I would spend 10 of it on this. Okay, my um, final thoughts are that my eyebrows, I really need to, okay, I think I overplugged, I may or may not have overplugged a little bit. And I'm trying to like, let it regrow, but the regrowth is like, 
really ugly. So I'm just trying to hide it. But my final thoughts on the Shea Moisture Skin Care, at least the Skin Rescue line. Um, this cleanser I actually do really like. I think I just put a little too much on it. The more I watered it down, the better it was. My skin definitely felt clean. Um, it didn't sting or anything. So I'm here for it. There's not a huge fragrance to any of these. You definitely get a smell but there's no added smells now the toner I honestly could live without but I do the only reason I could live without it is because it made like kind of my under eyes sting a little bit but I could feel it like kind of tightening up on my skin um so that I feel like you know, trying to get a little lift going on. I do like it. If you don't have super sensitive skin, this is probably fine for you. I probably will still use it because it's not unusual for me to use a toner or something of this nature and it kind of sting a little bit for me. Um, it what it really wasn't bad. Like I'm not I'm not gonna be dramatic. Okay, it really wasn't that bad. I liked it, even though it stung. It's like a good thing. It's like, yeah, I get it because it's kind of part of the line and I feel like it all goes together, but if you have sensitive skin and that's really not what you're going for, you could miss out on this and use a different witch hazel toner on your face. Um, I do like the mist. The mist is really, real, real nice. Like, it's just like, you know? So I do, you know, I'm kind of like 50-50. Like, I would, because I bought it, I'm going to use it, but I probably won't repurchase this again. <clears throat> for the star of the show this stuff right here it's worth every coin if every single one because I don't I don't know what they put in this but everything that went on my face afterwards looks 10 times better than like butter is a good is a good face cream but this and this they're like that power couple, you know? I don't, I mean, I will repurchase this. The dropper is nice. Um, it felt so good. It wasn't heavy. I don't feel like my cloak, my, my cloaks. I don't feel like my pores are clogged because of this. Like it's so light and moves so well on your skin. It doesn't feel like you just put olive oil in your skin. I don't know if you've ever done that, but like, it felt like it went into my skin. So this might be a holy grail. This this might, it might have gotten that work. I don't know yet, let me keep using it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for today. The Shea Moisture Skincare line is available at Target. Again, I will drop a link down below for all of this stuff. Thank you all for watching another video of my black owned brands. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, go watch another video, do it all, okay? Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you today. Peace out, Girl Scouts.